Happy Sunday, everyone. My name is Jeff Jones, and I am from thestreammachines.com and also theboxman.com, where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. In this video, we're going to take a look at what we've been looking at lately uh, is the Formula Z11 Pro Max. But I want to show you about some developer options, how to activate developer options, not on, not only on the Z11 Pro Max, but just about on any formula uh, device. So if you're new to the, the, the YouTube channel, the Stream Machines YouTube channel, welcome. Go ahead and give us a like, a thumbs up, and hit the, um, the bell icon so when we put out a video, you'll know what we're doing and, and stay in touch with the channel. We are the Stream Machines YouTube channel. Well, we take the, you know, the hard things or difficult things of streaming and make them simple one video at a time. Now, developer options gives you a lot of different options uh, on your unit. Uh, we're going to just take a look at a few of them to make the menus a lot snappier, a lot faster. And the fact that these devices allow you that much uh, freedom and uh, it's really a luxury. And I really love these uh, these units. So doing these short videos about some of the things that you'll face are always so, so beneficial. Now, these are not the only media devices that we resell. We sell a lot of stock Android devices. Uh, Mi Cools are very small, very good. In our next video, we'll be looking at the Mi Cool at a great package that's on it. Uh, it's priced correctly. So if you're a price conscious person that wants to really step into streaming without you know breaking the bank, you want to take a look at the next video after this one. But let's go ahead and show you how to get to developer options. Now, I am currently not on the Z Pro 11, Z11 Pro Max from Formula. I am on the GTV. This is actually my favorite unit that I use uh, from Formula. This is the last GTV that I know of that they're going to make. Uh, they, you know, halted this GTV 2. Um, for whatever reason, form, uh, uh, Google did not want to go uh, ahead with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to settings here. Press OK. Then you're going to go down to device preferences and press OK. And then you want to highlight about and press OK. Okay, so now that we have on about, what you want to do is you want to go down. This gives you some information um, to build. You want to press the OK button seven times. Now you're a developer. Now what you want to do is hit the back button on the remote and then go back into about. And as you go down, I'm sorry, go back. And as you go down here, you should see developer options. Highlight that, press OK. So you've enabled developer options. You can have the screen stay awake if you want to. Um, picture mode, I left that off. Every, pretty much everything's off. But to make it snappy, we're just going to go down. I leave everything off. So the logger buffer size is here. Networking, this is interesting. Whether you want the wireless display certification, if you want that to show uh, when you're doing wireless, you can have that. I'm gonna keep going down um, until you get to here. The Windows animation, transition animation, and animator anim animation. What you wanna do is make a slight change. You wanna change this from 0.1x to 0.5 on each one. And what that'll do is it makes everything, all the animations and all the menus to snap a lot faster and that's what you want as we keep going down you'll keep going down there should be three at the very bottom so i i leave this off right here um the don't keep activities don't need that on um standard limit stand and so this right here would be good the follow allow force allow apps on external drive if you're going to put a server or have external drives you can force allow all apps that you add Instead of eating up your, let's say your internal storage, you could put it on your external storage. I'm going to leave that off because I'm just using mine to just uh, for videos and stuff on how to record. So I'm not really using it like I should or could right now. So I'm going to leave that off right there. And 
that should be about it. And that is how you access developer options. So I hope that was helpful. Give that a try and let me know how that works for you. The next thing I want to do is I want to go over really quick one of the most um, I consider one of the best applications for live TV and it's it's a paid service that I have and it's called Peacock and I like Peacock for several different reasons. Now I'm going to list my reasons uh, why I like it because NBC and Peacock I like NBC shows. I like uh, NBC Sunday Night Football. So if you're in an area where you don't have Sunday Night Football, getting Peacock will give you access to that. So let's go over. And they have an incredible special that I took advantage of, a Christmas special. I think it's going to change, but I only paid uh, $25 for a year. And then next year, I think it's another $41.99 or something like that. So I went ahead and paid for the year. So let me go ahead and open it up. It's been a minute since I've opened it, so but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, this is my account here. Um, I want to show you that I do have an account here. Um, it says check internet connection. That's weird. I'm in on the internet. So let's just go ahead and hit that really quick. Yeah. So as you can see, I have an account with Peacock. Um, and you know, you have the football game that started 19 minutes ago or whatnot. So you can see at the very top that I have an account. There's my stuff. Um, let me go up here and here's the account. So there's my premium annual. It's $49.99 a year for next year. I just want to point it out that it is my account and I can show this. So let me go back in to Gumby. I really like this for several different reasons, especially for those who are my WWE customers or fans or just got to love WWE. This is one of the best apps if you're really into WWE where you can get all of everything once you pay for the service. The replays, the best of WWE, the premium live events. This is a worldwide wrestling federation or what WWE, um, um, uh, just a perfect app for it. I really love the fact. And so I have a couple of customers that definitely love the WWE and they're looking, if you're looking for a place to do that, that's great. They have sports. Um, so you'll see the sports, different sports here, um, all the way through. Okay. And then they have TV shows, of course. Um, the feature shows, different things like that. So remember, I love NBC shows. I definitely do. So if you're into NBC and you like Peacock and you like WWE, $49.99 a year is a great place to get that, a great price to get that. And it just runs very, very well. So take a look at that. I think they have a very entry level special. And I think you're going to like it a lot. It lets you save your stuff. I've been watching Quantum Leap, started watching The Chosen. So there's all kinds of good stuff here. And I think it's worth the $49.99 a year. And I think it's $19.99 payment. And then the next for the one year and then $49.99 uh, $49 for the year after that. So that is a great thing. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, if you guys are still looking for some great boxes or great media devices, uh, and, and support services. We have those things. Uh, go ahead and text. There should be a number at the end of the video uh, where you can text um, a number to 858-212-0841 and you can get some information about our $150 unit called the DFW or d -Light W. It is very, very powerful and worth. It is a great, great Christmas gift for yourself or for a family member. And there's a video to show you how to do that once you text us uh, we'll make sure that our team gets you a link so you can take a look at that. At any rate, thank you so much for watching. Don't keep us a secret, and we'll see you in the next video.